Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we picked up a couple of mechs. We got a Bushwhacker and a Shadowhawk now. I'm liking this the way that things are going. So I'm going to do something completely unconventional. Uh, a couple things I want to do. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go into the barracks. Zed Trader Bob is not working out for me. Um, he has not, we have not been buying anything in the store. So um, his merchant um, and spacer skill and stuff, the merchant discounts and things like that we're not getting any benefit out of him so I'm gonna dismiss him for ser from service right now he's costing us 15,000 a month not much but we don't really need it right now so we're gonna just dismiss him from service and then I'm gonna do something else here real quick we're gonna go down to uh, I think we can do it here reputation we're gonna break our contract or break our alliance with Karita right now so we're gonna remove this I think we can do it here we're gonna break our alliance Yeah, we're going to withdraw from the Alliance. Uh, they still like us. That's okay. We lost a whole bunch of points, but that's all right. So we're going to go and do something here. A little crazy. We're going to go to the star map, and I want to do this because I'm thinking, let's shake things up a little bit. We're going to travel over here. 39 days. We can get there within the, before the next financial report. So we're going to make a travel jump here, um, and we're going to do this flashpoint. Uh, and I believe it's for... Uh, abandoned world, but it's against the clans, I believe. So we're going to just travel over here and do this. Um, we do have enough money to get there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this, and hopefully we can get a, the Shadowhawk and the Bushwhacker outfitted before we get there. But we'll see what happens here. Alright, so let's have a look at the mech base. Um, sorry I'm laughing, it's just... We might, as well, we might as well spice things up. Okay, so the Hunchback needs to be repaired. Uh, I have no idea what it needed to be repaired, but it's repaired and ready to go. I think it was probably one of the uh, built-in items, most likely. Okay, so let's have... we got the crab up and running. Um, let's have a look at the bushwhacker, because I think this is going to give us the most bang for our back. For our back? For our back? Uh, and I think I'm going to pull the fire starter out of rotation right now, so we can save a little bit. For our financial report, it's not going to be saving much, but I don't think we're going to be running the fire starter that much anymore. The NSS and Endo Steel and stuff will come in handy, so and the sheath beacon and stuff. So let's just pull this out and confirm this, and let's have a look at our bushwhacker first. I'm thinking if out of the two max, I think I want to get this guy up running first. Um, so we've got max armor on this pretty much. So let's have a look at the equipment. We want to try and maintain our speed with this guy. So, um, let's take a look at our engines here. We don't think we've got a whole lot of engines, but we've got enough to figure something out. A 250 core would probably be the best way to go. Um, still leaving enough. This is what, 15 and a half, and this is 19. I want to go with a faster whacker. We have e-cooling, we got a couple of e-cooling plus ones. Let's see if we can do this. And then we'll take, uh, where's our e-cooling plus one? We'll drop that in. Um, so we got, you know, we don't have a whole lot of weight left, but we should be okay, I think. Because what we can do, I don't know how much this is going to cost us, a million, so we don't have that. <laughs> what about a light engine? 843,000. Let's try not to do that either. Holy crap. Okay, so pro double heat sink can go in this guy. Sorry, or double heatsink kit. Where are you? Um, heatsink kit prototype. Boom. And because I want to load this guy down right now with some SRMs. Let's see what we have here for damage potential. So SRM twos, SRM twos. We're gonna have to get some arms in there. Uh, four triple plus. Put it on this side. We're starting to run low. Um, so I'm thinking if we're going to do it this way, it's not going to work out. So let's take, let's go back. Let's put the four or the 250 in here. That should save us a lot of weight. Let's make this thing a little bit more viable. And we're not as fast, but that's okay. Um, you know, the other way to go is to go down to like a, a 420 and put a supercharger in it. But the difference between this, this is like... Or 240, sorry, it's 14 and a half. This is like 15 tons, right? 15 and a half, so one ton, not a big deal. 
All right, so we can go with, sorry, let's look here. Uh, Endosteel, don't know if the Pharaoh is going to give us anything. Maybe we should, I think we're going to go with an NSS instead. We need ECM in here first. Uh, definitely need a hand on this side, which we can't put in. We can put a lower arm though on both sides. Um, weapon mount, will that go in here? It will. There we go. Um, let's get, we've only got one TSM. So let's not bother. Angel ECM is probably the possibility for this guy. Although we did take off, we do have, if we go down here, fire control system missile. That's accuracy and missile crits. This is damage. We want accuracy or damage. We could go with the Artemis instead and just go straight up accuracy. I'm thinking with our bonus bonus to hit weapons, that would should be the way we should go. Um, because this guy's going to be targeted, I'm wondering if we put an armored cowl on him. We could go with the bonus initiative. Like this one is kind of nice. Resolve gain and initiative. And then we've got a slick suite here. Increase sensor range, increase resolve gain. Share sensor information, plus two initiative. Oh, that goes into, ah, crap. I keep forgetting that. But still, that's better. These guys' injuries resisted too, which is good. Uh, can we get the sheath beacon in the bottom? We can. So there's our ECM. Increasing sensor range, sensor pip. So now we can put the put the NSS in here. Let's drop it in. Uh, we still got lots of weight left, so we got to consider ammo here. Now we were thinking about uh, splitting up the kind of ammo we have. Uh, I think actually before we do this, I want to see what kind of case we have. Uh, I thought we had case two. We do. Let's drop that in. Uh, I'm going to put it on this side for now. We might switch that around, but let's get that in. And missile systems. So we want to have LK. That's the acid ammo. We want to have a dedicated acid. And we want to go with overheat. I don't think so. I think we want to have this as more of a dedicated... Uh, yeah, you know what I'm thinking? Before we start going down this route, Let's have a look at the Wolverine, because if we're going to pull, we could pull the SRM-6 off the Wolverine plus the two clan SRM-6s, and that'll fully load this guy out. Or we could just put the two clan SRM-6s in and leave the SRM-4, it's another three tons, plus the ammo. So let me have a look at that. If we're going to do that, we should probably have a look at the Wolverine first, what we're going to do with this guy, because we will need to steal the systems from here. Um... So if we're stealing, let's say we steal the all the SRM stuff. I know I just pulled the case out when we got heatsink cooling pods and stuff in here, which is volatile. I think this is volatile as well. Instability when destroyed. Um, but I think that's okay. So if we do that, we're going to gain a lot of heat here. Heat efficiency. Which means we might be able to pull out the, the cooling pod. But let's have a look, um, laser-wise, what we got here to deal with. So we have two ER mediums and two medium pulses right now. Um, we do have more medium pulses that we could throw in here instead of the ERs. We don't have anything that's range. We have to be really close, but this guy is super fast. And we have the bonus damage medium lasers as well. Now this guy's been fairly accurate, I think, with the mediums. Do we put the bonus damage in and, and a couple of... Do we have any more room for pulses? Only if we put them in the arms. Only if we put them in here. Now we do have a large pulse. ER large. We have any? I don't think we have. We have an ER PPC clan. Like if we put this guy in, recoil a plus one. I think this removes recoil, doesn't it? Or am I mistaken? I'm mistaken. Um, Heavy PPC, recoil of three, 600 meters, 750 meters, minimum range of zero. We do have the large pulse as well. That's seven tons, plus two accuracy though. I think we want to lean towards accuracy if anything. So if we did, if we took out the ER mediums, 
put in a large pulse and put in a medium pulse. Uh, we could leave the tag. How are we doing? We still we still got tons of heat sinking available here. So we've got two tons left. I don't think we can really put anything in for two tons that wouldn't be. I mean, we could pull out like the clan heatsink cooling pod. Like if we do that, still got really good heat sinking because we can use that elsewhere and then go with like, that's narc ammo, it's half a ton. LRM narc and then FTL is what? Follow the leader missiles? That's a full ton. Chaff is half ton. So if we go with like an LRM-5 launcher, do we have an LRM-5 down here? Or did I sell all the damn things off? We do. We got double plus LRM-5, plus one accuracy. So we could drop it in the torso. And we got half ton left. So that's perfect. So we can, but we don't have case. But still at half ton, we go with Chaff or NARC. Let's go with NARC. Well, we've already got an, a... Target planers increase plus one improved accuracy. Now, question... I guess we'll find this out in the next mission. We're going to put the NARC ammo in. Uh, I want to see if these two will stack. I think the TAG and the NARC stack. I'm pretty sure they do. So we're going to put both of these in for increased accuracy. And we're going to go this route. Uh, I don't think we have the same firepower as we had before. It is dropping slightly, but that's going to be completely offset when we put in the uh, Bushwhacker. It's only three days, so let's go this right now. What's our heat seeking at? I think we're still really good here. Yeah, we're really good. Um, we could pull out the cooling pod to balance it a bit more, but the mask does generate heat, so let's leave it this way for now. Let's just see how this works out. So let's confirm this. All right, now we can do the Bushwhacker. I think we've got the materials we need now. All right, so let's go back to equipment. Now, we know we want to put the 250 in here. Weapon mount, we know that's going in this arm. Uh, we could put the Wars, Warfare Suite in. It is two tons. I like putting the, the, um, the sheath beacon in here because of the, the uh, weight factor on that. Um, we need the case, too. Let's put it in here for now. Uh, the 250 engine's going in. Um, we have our... I want to go with missile... Well... No. Let's go Artemis. Let's go Accuracy. And we had the Slick Suite. And we had the R12 Sheath Beacon. We also had our NSS in here. We had Endo Steel. We also had... Uh, where are you here? Um, prototype Double Heatsink Kit in here. Um... So we're looking at pretty good weight now we can fill it with weapons. So let's have a look at those SRM triple pluses. Gonna drop two of those guys in right now. We wanna put them in the arms. These are gonna, these are gonna be our punchy items. And then we've got, um, where are the clan SRM sixes? Here they are. I'm gonna split them up. I'm gonna put one in each torso. And I wanna divide the ammo loadout on these guys. I think one of them is gonna be um, for the acid ammo and the other one will be for um, Maybe Inferno? Let's put the bonus accuracy ammo in. So we've got plus one accuracy with short range missiles. So this is 100 shots. It's 300, which is like plenty of ammo. Uh, we're going to dedicate one SRM-6 to this. It's 100 shots. We could dedicate two if we had to because we could split targets. Um, so this is plenty of rounds. Let's go to... Uh, Gonna have to calculate this here in a second just to make sure I've got this right. So let's drop the triple plus SRM6 in. Heat efficiency should still be really good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, so let's just figure out now the last thing we want to put in is a heat sink here. Uh, do we want to go with the cooling pod? Probably. Or no, uh, sorry, uh, where is the clan exchanger? That's probably where we want to go here. Right? That should drop it. Yeah, there we go. So. I don't know. That's. I think that might be pretty good. If we figure we're dropping plus two, plus three, 
to hit. These are hitting at 10 damage each, 18. I mean, the other way we could do it is pull out, like if we leave the clan SRM6 dedicated to this, that gives us more chances to hit, and it's only one and a half tons, rather than putting like an SRM2 or something in. We could pull this SRM6 out if we want to go dedicated damage, and then we could go back and we could grab our bonus SRM4 and drop that in here as well. And then we can go back and grab a patchwork materials and drop it in the leg down here. I think maybe that's what we do. And then we've got 1822. So this is going to be like over, what, 15, probably like 15 rounds, 14 rounds of firing with SRMs doing 10 damage each, 22 of them doing 10 damage each, plus more with this. This is like the uh, acid ammo, I think, gives you 20% more damage for two turns. So they could be doing, they could be hitting for 12 damage each. We just block with the right arm. Not going to put anything in here. I mean, it does give us a melee bonus if we put an arm in, but we're running low on arms and hands and stuff, so... I mean, we could just drop the lower arm in, I guess. Plus 10% melee damage. Melee stability damage. I don't know. I mean, we're probably not going to melee at all with this guy, but... Do we? I don't even think we need it. Let's leave it out. Okay, that's 316,000. That should be okay. Let's confirm that. So we have enough for our financial report. Shadowhawk, I'm going to leave for a moment. Um, I just want to make sure we have enough enough uh, C-bills to be able to outfit the way we want to outfit this guy. This guy's going to be our laser build, most likely with uh, PPCs and stuff. Maybe like a... Uh, um, there was a mention of using the... Uh, if we go to equipment here, or sorry, weapons. If we get the heavy PPC, right? If we drop in a heavy PPC on this guy, we would definitely need to have, like, I mean, I think the clan ER PPC would be better with, um, it's going to be hotter for sure. But if we go with the clan PPC, um, and we do have a PPC capacitor here. <coughs> losing my voice um so that'll be like what 82 damage with the ppc at a much longer range it's only plus one recoil rather than plus three um i think that's probably a better weapon to use and it has zero minimum range which is another bonus but this is a possibility we're going to need to probably another um another um, um pro double heat sink kit so we're going to keep our eyes open for that. Uh, but we do have cooling pods, well, one cooling pod and a clan cooling pod. And we do have another exchanger that we could drop in, which would drop the heat significantly on this guy. We want to try and get another weapon mount. Um, but it's going to start adding up once we start putting stuff in this guy. So we're going to leave this for now. Um, and we'll worry about that right after this next mission here. So let's go back to the Argo and continue along. Got a lot of jumps to go here. I'm feeling really confident about that uh, bushwhacker. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Not 100% confident about this Wolverine build. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to reanalyze that. But what I'm going to do is I think... Um, uh, I'm not going to be happy if I give him an exercise regimen. i let it slide for now. One minus one tech point, morale decreased by two. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put... Um, I wrapped up that job you asked thank you. I'm going to put um, our um, commander in... God, I can't even think right now. We're going to put Baba Yaga in the bushwhacker right now. Uh, I want to see what that's going to do. And I want to put it in the hands of a... Uh, uh, Someone who's got um, Warlord. So we're almost there. Let's take this mission, see what we get from it. Let's begin. I really hope we got 57,000. Let's hope something happens good on this mission. Um, so we're going to take limited medium engagement. So that should be no problem. It's a two skull mission. We should just grind through this like it's like nothing. We're going to go full salvage on it. 
we're going against Clan Ghost Bear, so I want to make sure um, we hit properly here. So let's take out the Wolverine. We're bringing in the Bushwhacker. Now I think probably the Crab should probably come out. Uh, and let's bring in the Wolverine here. Um, the reason why I say that, I'm not convinced the overheating is going to work that well against these the, the clan of two skulls. I think I would rather just murder them and get out. Uh, and the Wolverine's really good at doing that. Whereas the crab, I mean, we're, we're set up for overheating and it's not functioning 100% like I want it to. So um, we're just going to kind of go with that. Plus I want to see how the Wolverine's going to make out. Now the two hunchbacks are obvious because these guys have been in the battle forever and they're tried and tested. We're underneath our tonnage, so we should be good. So let's deploy this and get it done. Alright. Turrets have been spotted, eh? Bring sure to bring back a lot of parts. They had a sale on duct tape. What are we, red green? Crying out loud? Alright, so um, I just had a flash too as we were landing. I was just remembering we had, because I, I was thinking about the SRM 6 loadout, we had um, a Shadowhawk at one point in time. Um, I think it was a Clan Shadowhawk. But we had it laid out at one point in time um, with, SR, with the SRM-6 loadout. And I think we had six SRM triple pluses on it, if I remember correctly, with dead fire ammo. I'm receiving you. And that thing was hitting for, um, I think with Warlord, it was hitting 18 damage per missile. With like um, 48, I think, tubes. So it was insane. It was absolutely insane damage. Okay, let's get up this way. I don't know if we're just up against turrets here, but we're going to stick together. Let's keep our ECMs where we can use them. Um, you kind of are our scout. Fifty percent stability damage reduction from all attacks. Let's get down in here. I want to get as many eyes on these turrets as I can. Okay, we do have a mech and a turret. What do we got here? Commando. Is it a clan mando? I have no idea. Light turret. No idea. Um, three damage. What's the stability going to be here? Two per hit. Uh, let's hammer him. Eh. Minor stability problem. <laughs> I don't blame you, guy. I don't blame you. He's just running. I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> Alright, we got another back. Oh, that's the same one. That's oh, Jenner. I don't think it's going to be a clan Jenner. Let's see if we can deal with these turrets. Uh, LRM ammo, two LRM tens. Can't click that turret, unfortunately. So let's just fire on this one. Okay, moderate start. Don't think the bushwhacker is going to get a fair trial here on the first turn. Oh, Grinner. Yeah, man. We know who's going to be shooting at the Grinner. We know who's shooting at the Grinner. We need eyes on, though. Can you give me eyes on, please? Don't think so. Don't think so. But I think we're going to claim this turret. Yeah, large pulse. It's the problem with the uh, clan medium pulses, or the uh, inner sphere medium pulses, is the... Uh, the lack of range. It's 12 turns of narc. We might as well fire it if we're going to do it. Uh, but we don't need it on the turret. We want it on the Grinner, I think, if we're going to do it. So let's go this route. Confirmed. Okay, we got one. Don't know if that was the narc or the tag. Didn't say tagged, but... Oh, shit. 
gonna shut this guy up. They gotta remember now to use the right side of the bushwhacker. It seems to be slow. Probably because of the engine. Now, I don't know if this is the machine gun Jenner. I think he's in range for a good punch though. Probably the machine gun Jenner. Nope. Yep. That's why we make sure we have head protection. That's pretty lousy chances to hit. But well, we're not that close yet, so let's hammer this guy. Oh, those are actually not that not that bad. Could be way worse. So let's make sure we have the right thing shooting with the right ammo. Whoops. So this should be AX ammo. And we're gonna fire. Okay, we got acid on him. Nice. I've been sensor locked. Yep. The sensor locked you and fired at a different person. Okay, we got a fight going on. At least they're shooting at the right person. We got bad rolls. Hopefully we can go before this guy. I want to get right up on him and just smash the crap out of him. I want Megasaur to take on the Jenner. I think we're going to move this Hunchback up to take the turrets. Um, the Bushwhacker is definitely going to take out the Fire Starter. And I'm not sure what we're going to do yet with the Wolverine. Probably move it to closer to make it out. Ah, crap. Who are we fighting here? Oh, the Jenner. He's decided he's going to commit suicide. So maybe we take him with the Wolverine? We won't be able to move too far with that, though. Let's get in the trees here. I think we're okay there. Jammed by ECM. Won't matter, though. We're close enough to this guy. Uh, do we Warlord this to make it better? No, I don't think so. Ah, not as many hit as I thought would. That is a 2C version, okay. Alright, let's focus these guys down one at a time. Let's not make the mistake of getting sucked in too far. I'm gonna use the boomstick on this one. Oh, come on, you can't miss! Okay, that's a fair number of sevens. Moving to position. Okay, he's going to give us his back. We're going to take it. Yes, Commander. <sighs> All right. Got to take the best chance to hit and dump everything into him. In. All right. All right, it could be worse. I haven't penetrated the back yet. <laughs> These guys are full ar fully armored clanners, so... I'm losing a lot of armor. Let's see what this fire starter is going to do. Okay. Don't know if I got lucky there or what that was, but he just wasn't hitting very well. Let's hope we get better rolls this next turn. It's a lot of lerms, but they're not very accurate. I don't know if they're medium range missiles, but... Those are LRMs. See, we're getting a few hits from the LRMs, but I think these might be medium-range missiles, which is why 
and not hitting because we're at extreme range here. Um, okay, I don't I don't know if I want to sprint on this one. I want to see if we can take that Gauss rifle. Thank goodness for accuracy ammo. Uh, we're gonna hammer this guy again. Okay. That's how those missiles should be hitting. But uh, not always gonna hit that way, but that's how they should be hitting. And I think we need to run over here. Let's attack this guy. We need just we need to get chevrons of evasion. That's all we need to do over here. Okay. Oh, we got the other leg. Well, that was nice. Ah, we blew up everything else, unfortunately. That's a kill. But we got the other leg, so we might get something half decent out of it. Uh, we don't have fire maneuver here, unfortunately. But. Um, Kind of not being targeted though. They're trying to lull me into a false sense of security. That's kind of outside our optimal range. Let's move into here. Don't know when this guy's going. We both go on 20, so we might be able to pull him down, maybe. Okay. Crap, we destroyed the Clan XL. If anything, let's put the Wolverine in front of the uh, Hunchback. We should be able to finish this guy up now. Firing. Okay. Alright, it's nice that I didn't get suckered in this time. Normally I push forward. That would have been a huge mistake, I think. Now we're in a position to take this Grinner on. We might opportune strike this um, commando here. Not 100% sure yet. We may opportune strike him. I'll have to see how it goes. But I think we do want to get Megasaur on this Grinner. Yeah. So our stealth is really helping us out here. The NSS is helping us out. Like, I think that's why we want to go full... If we can get Voices... Oh, he didn't move. He's going to be in a lot of pain next turn. That's why we want to get, like, Void Systems or NSSs or Stealth Systems on our mechs as soon as we can. They're sensor locking one mech and then firing at another. It doesn't really make any sense. Alright. Okay, I think I want to go after this commando. Um, Copy that. I know the Grinner, Grinner didn't move, but I don't think we can take the Grinner down if everybody fires at him this turn. But we might be able to completely obliterate this guy right here. Keeping my right side to him as best I can here. This should end him. Bushwalker, FTW, man. Okay, this is going to be Copy that, Commander. a Grinner strike. I know it's I shouldn't be in the water. It's easier for them to see me, but... Okay, there goes his large pulse laser in his right torso. And this should... It may end him. We'll see. Let's attack him from the side. If not, we can probably knock him down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so all the mechs are down now. Let's take these turrets out. Now, they may have a second lance, maybe. We'll have to see how that goes. They're knocking their own buildings down for me. Thanks, guys. One less building I gotta fire at.
That's why we get that thing on his head. Commander. Gotta get the protection. If you ain't wearing your helmet, you're in a lot of trouble. Ah, it doesn't really matter where I go here. Let's get right up in here. Warning. Enemy reinforcements. Oh, of course. A Nova. Okay. It's got half armor. Let's trash these turrets as fast as we can. Stay out of mis missile direct fire. On it. Nicely done. One less turret. Okay, Yags, how far can we get? Can we actually get? We can see that turret. Mm, not bad. And I think because we want the turret gone. What do we got here? Nova, a white, Epona. Okay, we got a good chance to pick up some good gear here. I'm not going to Warlord. Not yet. I want to save it for those other guys. We got a really great chance to hit. Should be able to pull this turret down. Not quite yet. Comet should be able to finish it up though. So let's get in to do that. Let's stay here. Cool off, multi-target. Gonna go against this, and we're gonna shoot on the. Well, the white's gonna be hard to hit. Let's try and target the Nova with the LRM. Wow. What about the Epona? <laughs> oh well. Copy that, Commander. If we get lucky, great. Nah. Wasn't expecting to hit. Nope. Okay, we want to make these guys work for their win. Uh, we've got over 10 turns of ammo left with the SRMs. Let's move in here. Make sure this last turret's gone. Don't want anybody shooting at our backside. Gonna leave this off for now because we don't need it on. Look at that. God, I love this SRM boat. Target destroyed. As long as they're not fortified, this thing's a murdering machine. Um, pretty heat neutral. Let's just move up. Okay, we got another vehicle. Shamash. Can we kill the small building? Probably. It's history. What's up, boss? Uh, let's get your stability back here. These guys are going to be relatively quick. So let's get into here. Uh, let's see, our left side's partially damaged. Let's turn our right more towards them. I copy. And let's brace the forest. Comes the Nova. No, he's moving back. Didn't like getting shot at, I guess. He's turning his back to us. Is that something we try and take advantage of? No, we stay on our mission plan here. Stay on target. Let's turn the narc off for now. And let's see if we can't kill this medium building. Should be able to do that. Okay. Comes the Reese. See, I'm showing minor that guy should be outfitted with tags, narcs, and just um, always a, uh, a, a skilled pilot that can multi target and just tag people. Then it would be worth the 11 tons. Like three tags and a, and a skilled pilot. What are they doing? Setting up a firing line, probably? Standing by. God, I feel sorry for these guys. 
Uh, not really their clans. So I was thinking about allying with Ghost Bear. Let me know what you guys think. It's kind of turning against the Inner Sphere, I know, but... We could get some good gear out of it. I don't know. Let's just move to within strike range here. Comet's going to take down our last building here, the small one. And then we'll be good to go there, and then we can work on these guys. The white is the, really the fear. The Nova could have a lot of accuracy. They're waiting for us to come to them. But you know what, guys? Not playing that. I don't play that game. Uh, we don't need a lot of heat on this one, so let's go this route. That should do it. Yep. No, 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 no. We got salvage. We got salvage. Now they might move to try and block us from getting away. Let's hope they do. They're down one vehicle. Okay, there's the guy we want to kill. It's going to be hard to hit, but he's within killing range now. Let's hope Babiaga goes first. She does. I hope. I hope this is our role. I think this guy's still got to go. Right? The opponent? Or am I mistaken? Yeah. Okay, Babiaga, 24. Let's get up here. Let's make sure these other guys can't see us. Really bad chances, but this is our Warlord attempt now. We want to have as best chance as we can. Apply as much damage to this guy as fast as possible. And firing. Watching for acid hits. I don't think we got him. No, we didn't hit him with acid, did we? Nope. Uh, Standing by. Should have gone with her first. I should have waited. The tag and narc. But we didn't. Not that they would actually hit, but... Okay, we got one on there. It's going to help a little bit. I know we're kind of moving out into the open here, but I want to get as close as possible with our weapons. Get the best chance to hit. Because this guy is scary as hell. I hate these things. I think Megasaur is in punch range. I think. It would be nice if we could punch the arm off this guy. No, he's turning. See how accurate this thing is? I mean, we had three chevrons of evasion. Sure, it's not much, but... Yes, you are in punch range. So screw you, buddy. Coming in from this side. It's not the side we want, but it's the side we'll take. Let's get some more instability on him. Nice. Here comes the boomstick. Okay, I'm going to take back what I said about the boomstick earlier. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, and I know our um, pirate PPC snub nose blew up on us. Um, but even if it hadn't, I'm still thinking now, with the recoil reduction that we've got, I'm still thinking the boomstick is probably edging it out. Now, we don't get that pinpoint heavy strike, but if we get some, some slug ammo for this thing, um, there are at times like that, that would have been a really heavy punch if we hit him for 100 damage, or even 90 damage. So, I want to see if we can get some slug ammo. Have to make it work. Uh, now that they've moved over there, let's switch sides. See if we can take this arm off. Or we can just kill him. And finish him up. Alright. Um... Let's make this guy's life hell. I know we're rushing out to make this make this kill, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, he's got acid on him. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if the overheating would be would have been any better. I mean, if we had an extra ton. Like, if we can get an extra ton somehow, just squeak it in there, 
I'd like to put the I'd like to put the uh, the uh, inferno ammo in just for those times when you just want to be able to hammer somebody and overheat them instantly. Let's get that vehicle moving first. I want him out so we can shoot at him. So here comes the opponent. Can't quite get a back shot. I have no idea what it's mounting. Most likely missiles. Nope. Who are you shooting at? The hunchback? Are you serious? Somebody smoked too much gort before they came uh, out in the battlefield here. Let's fire this guy. Okay, that's that done. And then we've just got a panicky Nova in the back. My guess is this guy's probably a second line mech. He's just panicking. He better die here because if he doesn't, they're just going to kill him. For dereliction of duty. Yes, Commander. All right, let's see if we can pull this guy down. Take some time. I think we've got a bit of time on this guy. This guy is yet to fire his weapons. Think I hit something good, Commander. I'm here. Yet to fire his weapons. Now the one thing the bushwhacker doesn't have is pinpoint. Maybe it's an option at some point to put a pulse laser on. No, I, there was targeting here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Uh, maybe at some point we try and put a pinpoint weapon on it, just so it can contribute to things like this. All right, let's see what we can do here. How much has it got left in the leg? A whole bunch. Ah, uh, you can take a hit. Let's go after this. Um, God, I don't want to kill him. Let's just hit him with these two. See what happens. Enemy nope. But at least we have pinpoint this turn. Still got all his weapons though. Finally got a chance to shoot him. Good for you, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Now we destroyed his ammo. I'm not sure why he was able to shoot there. Um. See if we can take that leg. Yep. There it is, folks. Scratch another target. Mission successful. All right. Contract and pay payment increased by 30%, which is nice. Probably need a little bit of that for uh, repairs. I don't think we lost anything. Nope. Nothing internal, which is good. I'm glad I didn't get sucked into that battle right at the beginning like I normally do. Um, I originally thought they weren't clans, but then once I saw the Grinner, I'm like, okay, we can't go in, because if we go in, we're going to be dead meat. So we've got lots of choice here. Clan equipment. Um, ER mediums. We have clan medium pulse lasers. I guess I should really be thinking clan plasma cannons too, right? 25 damage, 45 heat. Oh. Six tons. I think it requires plasma ammo or is it doesn't it? It doesn't say it does. Let's check the bottom. Yeah, it does require plasma ammo. We do have a ton of plasma ammo though. TTS plus double plus weapons. This requires a clan cockpit but the, with three tons and plus two to hit with ranged weapons. If we had the weight it's perfect. Upper ballistics. Um, God, there's so much good stuff. Let's hope for a good roll off this. Clan SRM6, SRM4. 
Um, clam plasma. Medium pulses are a little, little bit more damage for the same weight, more heat, but way better range. Way better range. Um, okay, I'm going to put those two in for now. Okay, another Clan XL engine. Hate to say this though, but we need sea bills. It's a terrible thing to say. Um, I think we have one, right? Though we do have one. Okay, fire control system. We don't need exchangers. XL engine. God, there's so much good stuff. I keep saying that, but so true. Look at all this stuff. Clan double heat sinks, double heat sink kit, laser AMS clan, two missile defense. Minus 25% reduced damage takes plus four heat per turn. Ah, this is great, but you need a cockpit with it. Plasma ammo. We've already got... I think these two will be definitely upgrades to our mech, so let's go with that right away. And let's roll and hope we get something good here. So two commandos, yeah, two Nova part. Okay, that's kind of good. ER small clan. ER small pulse clan. Clan double heat sink. Machine gun tracer ammo. Oh, God, we got ripped off. Okay, let's have a look here. 42,000 for repairs. Not bad. So we did make a few C-bills off that. 16 days. Oh, it was only a one... Uh, got a mag shot, laser AMS, clan, fire control system indirect. Now, well, big deal. Double plus AC-20, SRM-2 double plus... Upper energy, that's kind of okay. Death from above. And we got a whole urban mech. We got a whole urban mech. Like, <laughs> payout 900,000. Okay, thank you. The stubby Irby. <laughs> it's a trash can. Hooray. Let's see what it's got on it, if anything. Um, so yeah, we made out really well with that one. It got us the clan space. We're going to have to go into the next month for repairs, but that's okay. Let's have a look at the mech base here, see what our Irby looks like. AC-10, small laser and heat sinks. Well, that's going into storage for now. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Well, we got an urban mech. Hooray for that. Uh, let's have a look at the planet here. Let's have a look at contracts. So that was a nice short mission. Um, it paid for our trip here, paid for the bushwhacker. We're kind of back to where we were funds-wise, which is nice. And we got a lot, not a, lot, a lot of nice clan missions to take and probably a few missions against clans. No, Outward Alliance. Um, aggressive negotiations. Troubles with Ghost Bear. So we do have chances to do missions against the clans and for the clans, which should keep us balanced in the books of everybody here. Which is, I think, what we're going to do. So, what we'll do is we'll just repair real quick and take a quick mission here. Um, let's manage our tasks. So, next episode, when we come back, let's do this. That'll Yeah, it's going to be nine days. When we come back next episode, um, what we'll do is... Uh, let's make sure Yang has enough resources. doesn't really matter. Um, we'll outfit the Shadowhawk and um, figure out what we're going to do with that. Now, we do have the Clan Medium Pulse Laser... And the plasma cannon. So um, we'll worry about putting those in next time as well. We'll get them into, um, I don't know where we're, we're going to put each one. The, well, the plasma cannon is definitely, we know we're going to put that in the crab most likely. Um, but we'll have to figure that out. So let's go to a, a command center. And let's take that mission against Ghost Bear. We've got a little bit of rep with these guys right now. Reputation 7. It's going to drop here, gone to ground. That's Outworld. Um, aggressive negotiations. One and a half skulls. Assassinate against Ghost Bear. So let's try this one. Um, one and a half skulls. I think we should be okay. We're going to use the same lance, the same everything. Full salvage. Got enough sea bills. We should be all right. All right. So let's deploy this and get this done. All right. Here we go. Oh, great. Two lances. Two lances at one and a half skull. Don't know how this is gonna go. On my way. Double time. 
We got the tools. Oh, Darius, please don't even. We got the tools. He interrupted me too. I was just in the middle of my beautiful speech. And he ruined it. We got the tools. We got the talent. Let's get this done. We got the speed too, which is nice. Let's hope we got the ammo for this. I think we should. Okay. Vehicles. Two. Okay, at least two vehicles on that side. I don't think these guys move. We don't want to crest the hill just yet. Enemy detected. Should be well behind the hill there. Okay, Kit Fox, 30 tons, underarmed, Grimmer. Gr it's Grimmer. Grinner. Should call it a grimmer. Makes me very grim. Grim for the future. Let's get up here. You're on the grinner, man. Me and you. Grinner patrol. Waiting for order. Let's get up here. You in front and the Wolverine behind. Wolverine's got more room. Or more uh, range, I mean. Don't think this is going to give us anything to hit. 16? Pot shot. Okay, we got an arc on him. Nice. It's going to help a little bit. So they definitely have two vehicles over here. They might have more. I don't know. Uh, we're going to reserve. Um, we're going to reserve again. Reserving it. Okay, definitely vehicles. I'm here. Yeah, we got a reserve. Commander. All right, let's start this battle off. Acknowledged. Gear Falcon. I have no idea what that guy's got. Wish I was more versed on my clan mechs, but I'm not. So. I think maybe this guy is the candidate for the. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the medium pulse off of this guy and put the clan medium pulse on. I think that's really going to help out the range. Uh, I need you in a strike range here, so let's get up there. Um, I know every little bit, of, little bit of damage counts, but if we're in a warm environment, I'm gonna leave it off till we get close. Okay, we hit with one and the tag, nice. So let's see if we can dump some missiles into this guy here. Uh, this needs to switch from LK to AX. And firing. Okay, we got some AX hits. Thank God he's not fully armored. It could, would be bad, I think, if he was. I. Okay, not sure about the Wolverine's loadout. I think it's actually still pretty good, but we need clan medium pulses in this guy if we're going to really make this thing work. So let's fire again with everything here. Okay, he's lost something. I think it was an arm or a torso. Reporting critical hit. We'll know soon enough once he fires. Okay, Kit Fox. Okay, that's a clan, uh, most likely. Yeah, clan fire starter. Standing by. I know we're moving into Grinner attack range, but we're, he hasn't moved yet. Uh, which is only going to make it better for us if we move closer. Okay, nice. So we're going to clear this side first. So this guy's next. Gear Falcon, 55 tons. I don't have a lot of armor. We want to clear this side. I know this this fire starter is going to be nasty if he can get land a few hits, but we definitely need to start clearing one side up so we can only focus on one side at a time. Uh, I'm going to leave it this way. Got to keep moving full speed as well. 
So let's target him. We're going to fire everything. Okay, acid hit. Let's see if he moves in. I might reserve these two. Okay, it's a large laser. I'm going to reserve. I want to see if this guy moves in. Come on, buddy. You know you want to get closer. Don't be shy. Get a little closer with air at extra dry. Come on. Move forward. You know you want to. You got to close that range, buddy. Close the range. Come on. No, 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 no. Not that way. Chicken. Well, he's a gear falcon. So he's a bird of some kind. Okay, at least we're pushing them all in the same direction, though. We may want to move up and try and control this hill. I'm receiving you. I want to see what our chance to hit this guy in the back is. We can multi-target. Shit, these guys moved in fast. What do we got here? Shamash. Piranha. Firestarter. 42 for a back shot. Fifty-five for a side shot. I think we take this one. We're gonna try and tag a narc him. Okay, there's the narc. Narc or the tag, either one. I'll take it. Let's get up here. Same thing. Let's hope we get a tag on him. I'm gonna leave the boomstick off. He's got LB two X's, two ER larges. Okay, those are nice. Four tons for 60 damage? Yes, please. Plus one to hit because of the laser. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, buddy. Another Grinner. Okay. As long as he stays back there. He's moving slowly through the water, so he can't really get up on us that fast. We got bad rolls this turn. Okay. This guy's rotating back into the water, which is good and bad. His extraction point is right here. In the upper right. He's trying to flank this guy. I could make quick work of him. And I might just do that with the uh, bushwhacker. Um, I think I'm probably going to do that. First things first. Burn a hole through this gear falcon. Oh no, we got a target. He's right here. Uh, wow. Okay, that's enough. Right there. Not as good as I was going to hope. I don't want this guy at my back. We gotta take him out. He's made a fatal error, so let's exploit it. Yeah, we'll fire everything on him. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ready for orders. This guy's gotta go. Firing everything on him. Oh, nice shooting. Ah, I destroyed a weapon mount, but no big deal. Lost his evasive. I don't think we've got the ability to punch him from here. He's probably going to be going before Megasaur anyway. I wish he wasn't, but... It's only going to fire one, eh? God, I can hear the heat coming off that engine. You hear it? Sounds like a flamethrower, for Christ's sake. Or a blowtorch or something. 
So if we can't... Oh, he did not move. Yes, Commander. Now we got a question here. Oh, it's only the tag that can hit that guy. So we're everything on this guy then. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, he's going down next turn. Most likely going to be sicking Megasaur on him. Hope we get a good roll in the Bushwhacker so I can kill this guy. I have to worry about a Prano attack from behind, though. Okay, so they're, I think their Prana still needs to go, doesn't he? The Kit Fox needs to go. What's this guy now? That's the, another Shamash reconnaissance vehicle. What's up, buddy? Thanks for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Standing by. What do you think, girl? You want to be a hero? Not really a hero, but... Confirmed. Hopefully finish this guy up. Nope. Reporting critical hit. Okay, Wolverine's going to come down and help out the Bushwhacker because Megasaur can finish up this guy without too much issue. Um, we want to drop our heat here. I'm thinking at this moment it's probably a good idea. Um, and my reasoning is, it's probably going to be about four turns before we engage that boss. And I want to be heat zero by that point in time. So we don't, well, we might as well just fire it all. You have elected the way of pain! Okay, nice. So no Gauss Rifle at our back. Or shooting from a distance, that is. Comes to Kit Fox. Yes, Commander. Well, let's leave Megasaur for that other guy. Let's go this route, and we're going to shoot and finish this guy up. Just move back so they can't see us. Well, sure they can, but... So we got a Prana, two Shamashes, the Grinner, and the Kit Fox left, plus the boss. The Shamashes are steppable. This guy's... If we get a hit from behind with uh, Megasaur, he's pretty much a one-shot. The Grinner is going to take a bit of work, I think, but I think he's got half armor, so it's not that that bad. And this guy's dead next turn. He's taking a full load of back shot here in a second. I should call it Bush Shot. It's like Bushwhacker Shot. It's Bush Shot. Full back, full of Bush Shot. Okay. Come on. I'm interested to see what their boss mech is. Ow! You little turkey. How much armor do you have? Damage minimal. I have no idea how much armor you have. Ready for orders. Roger that. What's up, buddy? Locked on for physical attack. 
I got something else here for you too. Just hang on. There you go. Little present for you. Critical hit commander. You punch me, I punch you back. That's how it works. That's how it works in the schoolyard. It's worked out pretty good so far. He should be fall. Is he fell? Yeah, he fell. We got one more Shamash left down here, I think, and then their boss. Got to get Comet down here to help me with these Shamashes. Friggin' harassers. Order. Need your ass down here, please. Come on. Double time. Let's go. Six point nine, eh? Wow. All right, let's shoot this guy. I got it. Think I hit something good, Commander. Roger that. Rear armor. Okay. That's a kill. Thank you. We should be able to clean up these last two vehicles here with the uh, bushwhacker, and then Wolverine should be able to clear up the kit fox, and then all we're left with is the asshole in the water. These guys have no armor. Um. I don't know, let's try that. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Didn't know if I'd get both of them. There's a Grinner arriving late to the battle. I don't think we've got the ability to, to uh... Kill two guys here. Don't really have the heat. 16 to hit though with the large pulse. So we take on this guy, I think. Um, his CT is almost gone. So we're going to CT him and we will fire just this. 36, 36. That should be enough. Yep. Okay, let's see what this guy does. The boss has got to show up here soon. These guys are done next turn for sure. Shamash has got to go. Fucking harassers. Don't give a shiz about that guy. What I do care about is this guy, though. Let's uh, welcome him to the battle, guys. That's my what's up, buddy. Welcome. Now we got to step on the Shamash, probably just to cool off. And we're going to hammer the other guy with... What's up, boss? Um, you need to cool off, so let's step on the Shamash. Let's go this route. That's a hundred points of damage if I've ever seen it. One more from the trash heap. And comet, let's I don't even think you need to move, but I want to get you down here so we can regroup. Uh, let's stay in the open, better chance to hit. Move order, large repeat. pulse and narc on. Yeah, we can't even hit the large pulse at this range, eh? Oh my god, we killed him with narc ammo. <laughs> that was totally worth it. That was even better than the tag kill the other day. 
<laughs> yeah, my son's up here now. He's, he's just laughed at that. That's great. It's just great. Yeah, we tag killed somebody yesterday. <laughs> Took somebody's leg off with a tag. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this guy's got to offer us. Just going to move up, but we're going to stay together, keep our ECMs working. Piranha, really? Yes, come 2010 on. Piranha, that's all we get out of this guy? Come on. <sighs> Could have been a medium mech. Alright, oh, he's not even narked. Alright, okay, I want to try and kill this guy in one turn. Uh, we're going to reserve. I want him to move first. Oh, wait, we need to... Yes, Commander. Oh, right, because uh, I forgot this is our last turn. Um, we need to get out of here, too, so I might as well keep moving towards the uh, no exit point. Right. Oh, no, we got some shooting. I want you to delay him a little bit here. Do an offensive push to this guy's head. I know we won't hit it, but we might as well try. Primary target damage, Commander. Receiving yeah, so we're going to have to exit this battlefield, so we might as well just sprint all over here. Shoot him from the one side, then get out of here. I almost got him. Oh, he's dead now. It's not going to be a side attack, but we'll take it from here. And just because we can, we're going to Warlord. And let's switch this from that to... How do we do this again? Oh yeah, LK and fire. Oh, he's still standing. Enemy I'll give it to him. It's tough. He's got full armor though, I think that's why. Everyone needs to get a shot. You need to get a shot, so get up here. And if not, we'll let Megasaur finish it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit the CT and fire. Bye-bye. There it is, folks. Looks like I only need a new target. Now we need to escape. Ready for orders. Because we have to fear those guys that don't exist. Good thing we got long movement though. Except for the bushwhacker, that's the slowest mech. Waiting for orders. Unfortunately, but we can't do much about that. I prefer the firepower over the speed. If we can get a Clan XL in that thing, I'll be like super happy. Oh, for Christ's sake. Let's go. If we can get a Clan XL into the Bushwhacker, um, then I can drop a mask in the thing. Make it super fast. And even against Heavy Max, this guy would be an awesome back striker. Get some dead fire ammo. We can drop in there. It's only, I know it's only plus two damage, but still we're going to be jumping from 10 to 12 or f up to 15 damage with the, uh, um, Commander. with Deadfire and, um, no Warlord. And then if we use the, uh, if we already have good chance to hit, we use our, uh, targeting computer that gives us plus one damage, we could hit with 16 points each. That would be awesome. All right, so we made 170,000 plus 35 percent, which is awesome. Um, and I don't think we took any significant damage there. Kind of got lucky there with uh, the bushwhacker not getting uh, too hit from behind. Lousy experience though, but that's all right. This first is the clan, so we'll take it. Uh, we only get two salvage, but let's have a look what we got down here. Um, LB2X is way how much? Four. They fire a cluster of. How many shots? I have no idea. Uh, medium clan pulse lasers. I'm wondering if that's the, what we take out of this. Let's just see what else we have down here. Clan Pharaoh, clan endo steel. Those are really good to save space, but we'll have more chances to get those. I'm just looking for immediate uh, bonuses here for us. Heat sink kits, jade talons. Yes, please. Yes, freaking please.
Yeah, man, we're going to put those on the... Uh... Yeah, I know we got a weapon mount here, but still... I think the J Talons are the way to go. That's like an immediate upgrade, so let's confirm this. All right, two, three Grinner parts. Okay, excellent. Clan Goss Rifle, Clan Heavy Machine Gun, and regular heat sink, blah, and ammo. All right, 25,000 repairs, which is nothing for a battle like that. That was excellent. Okay, let's put our salvage on. We've got one day for repairs here. Let's have a look here now. Um, let's put that stuff on that we've just gotten. So we've got talons, which we can drop on the Hunchback 1G. So it's going to require a bit of weight, but I'm okay with that. So let's have a look here. Equipment, jade talons are where? Closer to the bottom, I'd imagine. Uh, where are you guys? Hello? Where are you? Right at the very bottom, of course. Where else would they be? So this is going to add a bit of weight. Three tons, eh? Yikes, that's a lot. We need to... No, that's, that's right. These go on... These are just base melee damage, so we need to redo this. So we have to go... We have to take these off. And the retractable blade. Ah, uh, where do we get three tons from, guys? Can't really lower the core, can we? We're going to be severely nerfing speed if we do that. Um, this is nine and a half tons. This is what, seven and a half? It's only two tons. Um... You know what I think we do? This is giving us a ton too, isn't it? Yeah. The Warfare Suite is really freaking nice though. What does the um, Sheath Beacon give us? It's 150 radius. Penalty of three to enemy sensor checks. Penalty of six. It's got an active probe in it. This one's got an active probe, just not as good. Um, can't lose the mask. Let's do this. Talons have to go on first. The ER mediums have to go on second. Retractable blade goes on third. Warfare suite comes out. Uh, we put the R AR. Well, we can't. We have to take out the medium laser to do that. No, we don't. Uh, let's just redo this really quick here. Uh, so this medium laser goes over here. Retractable blade goes back in. Then we add the AR-12 sheath beacon, over by two tons now. Tag can come off. Um, can't change that. Case two has to stay in. Oh, no, there we go. Right, because it's a primitive cockpit. That's right. So that's actually pretty darn good. It puts us back to where we were. If we can get Clan Endo, that'll be awesome. Um, 
just we need four additional free slots. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need to look for Clan Endo for this guy. But I'm thinking this is the way we have to go if we're going to upgrade this guy a little bit. Um, that's going to put our melee. I don't think it's really going to say what it is. Yeah. Figure it out in battle, but it should be. It's going to be about 120 something, 130 maybe. That's a significant upgrade. We haven't lost any firepower. We're just missing the tag. That's it. So let's confirm this. It's only three days. And then we want to have a look at the other hunchback, right. which we want to replace the medium pulse laser with the clan medium pulse laser to increase our range. Uh, the medium pulse was here. So let's go to our lasers. Um, medium pulse clan can go in here. Should we put it in the head instead? Maybe we do. Mm, that's even the torso. That's fine. Um, so let's go that route. And confirm it's all we need to do with this guy. And let's have a look at our crab. Now we're going to be reducing the damage but increasing the heat damage with this guy. So plasma cannon. Can't tell the weight here. The clan plasma cannon is different. Because it does less damage but more heat. It's the same weight though. It's times three versus overheat though, damage. Five variable damage, recoil of two, and the clan one has 15 variable damage, plus times three bonus versus overheating target, recoil of two. We got what 10 rounds here? Is this 10 rounds? 10 shots. So that's plenty, I think. Now we have SRM Inferno ammo. Do we I don't think we have any YK ammo left. No. Yeah, I wanted to keep this the regular ammo in here too, just in case we needed it for damage. Now I wish we had these are two tons. We don't have anything ballistic wise that we can use, do we? I think we already looked at this. Pirate heavies are having, adding some incendiary damage, which is kind of a slight bonus, but it's really not having that huge huge of an effect. Um, yeah, we don't. We've got, we've got what two, four, five tons left if we take off all the machine gun stuff. Let's leave it this way. Confirm it for two days. All right, so we're going to leave the episode here. Uh, next time when we come back, take a few more missions against the clans and for the clans, see if we can pick up some stuff that we can use on the Griffin. I don't want to outfit the Griffin just yet until we can find if we can get some more pulse lasers or stuff like that. Um, it'd be nice to have a chunk of pulse lasers that we could uh, throw on that thing. It'll be devastating at close range. Put a uh, mask system in it. Um, so I don't want to rush doing that. I think with our loadout right now, we're pretty good. Um, yeah, so we'll leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please please feel free to subscribe. Also drop any comments in the comment section down below about the Bushwhacker if you like the layout, the SRM-6 layout. I think it's working really, really well. Um, I know it's going along kind of with our low damage, high volume uh, weapon systems that we've been sort of loading out on these mechs. Um, and I think it did perform really, really well today. So I think that's how we're going to keep it. But if you got any suggestions on how to modify that, drop it in the section, comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.